Hi, welcome to Camlish.com. I'm teacher Emmy, and I'm going to be your teacher in learning the English language easily. The title of our book is Classroom English. This is a practical guide to teaching English through English. Now, our discussion will start from page 266. Okay, so on this page, we're al already on lesson number 81, and our topic is reading activity 1, okay? So we have here the teacher's language. Let's read the sentences. The first one is, let's learn some more about this topic today. Next, let's do some silent reading. And last is, if you fin finish before that, you can start your homework. Okay, so that's very short. Now let us go here on the short dialogue part. Okay, we have here the dialogue. After an interactive lead-in related to the topic of the text, as shown in lesson 20. And then the teacher said, let's learn some more about this topic today. Open your books to page 35. Today, let's do some silent reading, okay? I'll give you about 10 minutes. If you finish before that, you can start your homework. Are you ready? And then the student said, yes, teacher. Okay, you can, you can go ahead and start now. All right, so that's just a very short uh, dialogue part. Now let us go to the other expressions. We have here two expressions. The first one is, Let's do some silent reading, okay? So the teacher can also use this sentence. We're going to read the text silently, or this statement. We're going to do some silent reading. Or this one. We'll have a chance to read by ourselves, okay? Now, number two, we have here the expression, if you finish before that, you can start your homework. The teacher could also use the statement, if you're done early, you can begin the homework. Or if you finish ahead of time, you can start working on your homework. Okay, so that's just very easy. And here, you can check out in this box the Korean translation of the dialogue part. Now let us go to the next lesson. Okay, so let's start discussing lesson number 82. The topic is reading activity 2, okay? Now we have here some teacher's language. The first one, let's read. Listen while I read the text. I'll read it a little slowly the first time. What are some of the words that you don't know? I'll read it one more time. Let's do some exercises now. And the last one is, they'll help us understand the text better. Okay? Now we have here one student's language, and it says, I don't know, famous, or F-A-M-O-U-S, okay? Now let's discuss and read the dialogue part so we can better understand what is going on on the teacher's and student's language at the top. So the dialogue starts after an interactive lead-in related to the topic of the text. The teacher said, okay. Today, we'll read about this topic. Open your books to page 27. Now listen while I read a text. Read silently while you listen. I'll read it a little slowly the first time. And then after reading the text, what are some of the words that you don't know? Okay, and Gina raises her hand. Teacher, okay, Gina. Gina said, I don't know, F-A-M-O-U-S. The teacher and the students discuss the meaning. Teacher, any other words? Okay, the teacher and the students discuss other new words. All right, I'll read one more time. This time, I'll read it a little faster. After reading it one more time, okay, let's do some exercises now. They'll help us understand the text better. Okay? 
Now let us, uh, that's the end of the dialogue part. Now let us go on to the other expressions that we can also use in exchange for the statements or expressions used in the dialogue that we've just read. Starting with the first one we have here. Now listen while I read the text. Okay. The teacher can also say, I'll read the text now while you listen. Or, now let me read the text while you listen. Okay, number two we have here, I'll read it a little slowly the first time. The first time I'll read a little slowly. Or I'm going to read it a little, a bit slowly the first time. Okay. Number three we have here the question, what are some of the words that you don't know? Can also be asked this way. Any unknown words? Are there any unfamiliar words? Or did you find any words that you don't know? Okay, number four we have here. Any other words? What else? Anything else? <coughs> Are there any other words you don't know? Okay. Now let us go to number five. I'll read it one more time. Can also be said this way. I'll read it once more. Or, or let me read it once again. Number six, let's do some exercises now. Let's try some exercises now. In a question form, it goes like this. Shall we try some exercises now? Let's take a look at some exercises now. And the last, they'll help us understand the text better. Or we'll understand the text better after we do them. Okay, so those are the other expressions. Now here you could check out Korean translation of the dialogue part. And that will be all for this video. Thank you for listening. Again, I'm teacher Emmy. See you in our next video lesson. Goodbye!